I wonder how we'll use that information. And like that, oil code disappeared. supposed to be two factions, but all we've ever seen so far were the head figures of the Kuro resident. Like, where is the other, where's the other faction? What I would have liked to have seen was, like, maybe um, the first guy was from Kuro, and then the second Whoa. guy, the guy that comes to harass the restaurant, Oh, is this guy from Akadama? Alright. A little late though, I would have liked the second guy that harasses the restaurant to have been from the Akadama clan. That way you get introduced to both at the very beginning of the game. You prick, you're supposed to help the old guy. Ugh. Gross. Ooh. No, but I defeated two of them. Huh? I can't even look at the way you walk. Huh? Yeah, who are you to ask me who I am? <laughs> Lord Prohibition Acer. Now, to be fair though, R is really close to T on that key. <laughs> uh, really? You're a, you're, you're a policeman and you're just, you're not even gonna try to be clever about how you wanna be bribed? <sighs> you really are gross and Yeah, who would pay you? You look like a monkey, but you act like a weasel. Whoa! You have a gun? Ugh. Yeah, take that, you technology wielding butt. So again, being Japan, I don't know if he's saying Jose or Jose. Because technically, it should be Jose. But it's really easy to read that as Jose. <laughs> oh, you're a big boy. Ah, you shot me. Dude, you can't just shoot people. <laughs> Sit down. You're better than that, Jose. Wow, just like that. Calm and serene. It always interests me when, like, level designers put in little nooks like that in the level that most a majority of players will either will never use let alone never even see like, I wonder if they had some sort of intent for it Oof. 
I need to take a nap. Uh-oh. Shenanigans? Ooh, gang fight! <laughs> Not interested. More to say. Oh, guess not. <laughs> yeah, Don seems like a cool guy. I wouldn't want him to have any misfortune. Especially when he's doing it for a pretty girl. So let's get that net. The elite samurai. I already defeated like two of their most elite samurai. Can't imagine they have too many more. <laughs> Are they just discussing their plan to attack us in broad daylight, like right in front of us? Ambiance. Hey, we can use uh, we can use Purple Cloak's uh, backdoor passage. Okay. But it was to the right. Good thing I wore my one and only clothing. Ooh, pretty. The full moon, no less. Though, full moons aren't exactly the best for secret infiltration. Yes! Convenient ladder! <laughs> Gotta check to see if it's an item. I was gone looking for something important. That seems like a place where I would store important stuff, right? Nope, just some radishes. <laughs> there is a guy down there. was down there. I hear his feet. Hmm. No body. Curse you invisible barriers making doorways difficult. Now I do remember that you can just be a ruthless barbarian and like bust down all the doors with your foot, but we can be civilized unhomer people. I guess a better way to say that would be we don't have to homer <laughs> Simpson. Ugh, why are you here? No, 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 Afro man. Why are you here? Mm -hmm. what? Huh. 
I like how they only went overboard on like three aspects of Donna's like design, but that's it. They didn't like go through every single detail of like, oh, we have to make this guy seem as foreign as possible. They just kind of they changed the tint of his of his clothing. They made his um, they made his pants more bell bottomy, which I kind of disagree with, but uh, whatever. And obviously they gave him an apple. I'm kind of sad about because his fighting style is unique enough, but I guess the game doesn't really allow... Oh no, Invisible Bear! The game doesn't really allow him to show off his combat. I gotta say though, I do really appreciate the AI that was designed into the NPCs in this game. Because uh, as you can see, they can navigate door like the invisible barriers of doorways better than I, the player, can. Whereas most other games that I've played with an AI that has to follow you, they usually get stuck on that barrier. And they can't pass it and you're stuck there and you have to fight everybody. Let Donna pass! Or Don. Let Don pass. Ooh. Kind of a high strike, don't you think? Usually a side stance strike horizontal slash like that goes for like the stomach or the thigh. Doesn't really go for the neck. No dialogue. Hey, don't leave me behind. I assume is what he said. <laughs> I'm the one with the I'm the one with the safe. You're just gonna leave me behind? Worst heist ever. <laughs> Get down! Don! Hurry up! Hurry up, Don! Alright, cool. It's close enough. Fine. And freaking more ominous music. So if the map is laid out correctly, then this path should lead up to the shrine. Who that? Who is that? Aw oh, man! Why can't we go up to the shrine? Oh. <laughs> uh, they're gonna force you to interact with that guy. Nah, oh, man, nah. There's gotta be around here, man. My contact said that we could just go this way. Maybe that guy doesn't care. Nope, nope. He totally cares. Ooh. Usually it doesn't forebode very well when their attire is like super fancy. <laughs> Let me out! Oh god, he's just pacing. Well, if it's gonna force you to go up to him, you might as well find out. Alright, who's this impassable dude? <laughs> Aw, <laughs> oh, man. Jobo! 